One thing that can work pretty well for a budget title is having a very specific focus, executing it well, and being just unique enough to avoid being lost in the eShop shuffle. At this point, if you're just a precision platformer, I've got bad news for you. The line at this point is wrapped around the building. In order to get any traction at all, you really need to differentiate yourself in some way, even if perhaps helping people understand that distinction at a glance may be a challenge. As the latter part of the title suggests, while Foxy Rush may be a precision platformer of sorts, it differentiates itself by making it into a runner, only letting you be responsible for handling the jumping, and that does obviously alter the formula a bit. Armed only with your wits, a double jump, and some grit and determination, your goal will be to clear the gauntlet of traps and pitfalls each level throws at you. In general, simply clearing each stage won't be all that taxing, but if you determine yourself to grab all three stars on each one, you'll absolutely need to get ready for some pain. What gets to be tough can be simply plotting out your route to get to each star, as you'll often need to backtrack, but then the added element of difficulty can be just getting back to where you came from. There are checkpoints, but if you plan to grab every star you'll need to stray away from them a bit, and there are absolutely some sections where your timing will need to be on point to survive. In terms of areas to be critical about, two main thoughts arise. The first is that the mix of frustration and pretty bare-bones nature of the experience may fail to sustain interest in some people for long. If you're simply a challenge hound, that may be enough incentive to stick with it, but Foxy Rush doesn't do too much to take the experience to the next level. The second is a related thought, and that's the fact that there's another indie out there in a similar vein called Wonderling, and overall it's a much more polished and enjoyable time. Foxy Rush does get the job done, and the price is a fair one, but there's no doubt it's more on the basic side. If that's not a problem, though, it's sure to keep you working to get every star you can. Overall, my final score for the game ended up being a 7.6. And if you're interested in picking it up, it's currently available on the Switch eShop for $4.99. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this review. And if you'd like more information or ideas of indie games worth checking out on Switch, be sure to click on the link provided in the description. Until next time.